man sent 5,000 plus messages in bottles and got thousands of responses. In an era where pretty much everyone uses social media to communicate with the rest, throwing a message in a bottle to the sea seems a bit old-fashioned. And yet, a retired fisherman has been doing it as a hobby since 1996. But why does a person choose to do something like this? Well, according to 65-year-old Harold Hackett, it all started when one day during fishing, he decided to put a note inside a Pepsi bottle he'd carried on, threw it into the sea and went back home. At the time, the note only included a name and an address, plus a request of a response. But who would have thought that such note would eventually be answered? When Mr. Hackett received a reply, his passion for sending messages in bottles began. And not only did he get written responses, but also Christmas cards from people around the world whom he developed a friendship with. In an interview with the BBC, Hackett said he'd received messages from people from France, Germany, the Bahamas, and even Africa. But the ones he likes to display the most are the messages from countries like Ireland and Norway, especially because they took up to 11 years to reach him. We don't know much about Hackett's current life, but what we do know is that over the years he sent over 5,000 messages in bottles. And perhaps the most surprising thing is that out of that number, he's received almost 3,100 responses. However, since it's been a little bit more than seven years after his last interview, the number of responses has probably increased. Now, you might be wondering, how is it that a man of his age gets to collect so many bottles to use for his hobby? Well, the answer is simple. He has a system. At first, he used to use the bottles he had in his place, but his passion for sending notes continued to grow. He decided it was time to look for a bit of help, so he reached out to his local recycling depot and asked the workers to save him the plastic bottles. However, there's more. Every time he throws a bottle with a note inside to the sea, he writes the number of the note he's sending in the top of the bottle cap. At the beginning, Hackett used to handwrite his notes. In fact, when interviewed by the BBC, he claimed to have handwritten 400 letters during the whole winter. And because of that, his fingers were blistered. But it wasn't until later that he discovered a better way to continue with his passion without having to deal with wounds on his hands. Printed notes. Yes, that's right. Hackett decided that it was time to change the format. And this time, instead of writing notes by hand, he decided it would be much easier to just print what he wanted to say into fluorescent colored sheets. That way, the people would be able to spot the notes inside the bottles more easily. Before concluding, there's still one more thing to mention. Even though Hackett used to receive handwritten notes from the people finding his bottles, his new system changed things a little bit. In order to speed the process of receiving a response, Hackett opted to include an email address in each of his notes where people could write him. That way, he wouldn't have to wait decades for a response to show up on his side of the sea. Now, as fascinating as this story might be, there are some people who don't really like what he's been doing. Not only has he been judged for using bottles destined to be recycled, but also because of throwing such bottles into the sea without thinking of the harm it does to sea life.